systems. Our offense and their defense was completely new. So we were watching a lot of film on other teams, not so much their team. So we were kind of having to figure out um, you know, what exactly they were going to do and their techniques and stuff. So that's probably what led to a little bit of it. But um, there were a couple missed assignments at the beginning. And then, uh, like I said, they were playing some wider techniques than we thought they were. Uh, Darren went out late in the game. Uh, he gets carted off, you know, what we're told. What did you see with him? And, and if he's out for a considerable amount of time, uh, how big of an impact is that? Uh, I think he's fine. He said he was fine in the locker room, so I think it was just a stinger or something like that. But uh, he'll be good. Um, we have the good thing about our offense, especially at the wide receiver position, we have so many, so many weapons. So we'll probably slide BJ Farrow over for however long PD uh, will be out, or if he's even out. And then Dante Shells will get more of the Z reps. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully he'll be fine. I'm sure he is. You and Darren had a pretty good rapport there. Early on, first four targets he caught and seemed to be very vocal. Is that the game plan to look for him often, kind of establish him, and then hope that takes some pressure away from the other receivers, to maybe get them open and get them in the room? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, PD's PD is one of the best receivers in the nation, so get him the ball as many times as possible is you know sort of our game plan every week. So um, uh, yeah, just being comfortable with him. He was getting open. I was giving him the ball early, so. Uh, it opened up for some other guys. Uh, Kendall Kuman, before he got injured, had a big play down the middle of the field. Uh, Will Johnson had a big third down conversion. So uh, it's it's good to have him as a weapon, but also it helps our, our the rest of our offense because it takes away, it, it forces people to double cover him and leave everyone else in single coverage. Did you see the 2013 Des Rice back on the field tonight, especially with some plays where he was able to you know run through arm tackles and then also shoot through some feet? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, he's he's a great player. Even you know, in 2013 when he was when he was a starter, he was uh, he was explosive. He's strong. That's that's probably one of one of, his, one of his biggest assets, if not his biggest one, is that um, the first guy usually never takes him down. So uh, it was good to have him back. And then of course we got DJ and Todd back there too. So whenever you know, Dez or DJ gets tired, we can bring in whoever needs to. With the amount of times they the, their defensive line got to you, got into the backfield, is there any concern about the offensive line, or is it just a lot of first game stuff? Yeah, for first game stuff, I'm not worried about it all. This is the best offensive line I've had since we've been here. So uh, that's why I'm back there. I can take shots and um, standing up now, so I'm good. But uh, uh, yeah, they were, like I said, we didn't have a lot of film on them, so it was hard to, to get a beat on exactly what they were going to do. So um, film-wise, I don't think we were as prepared as we usually would have been, just specifically from you know not having the right amount of film. But uh, we were able to, you know, move past some stuff. Struggled a little bit in the first half. We should have had, should have had three touchdowns instead. I, you know, I had the interception. We had a blocked field goal and then another field goal. So instead of three points, we should have had 21. But um, other than that, I think we played all around pretty good on offense. Any more for Josh?